International Yoga Day. It's we are right on the cusp of it, and PM will be celebrating IYD or International Yoga Day, the eighth edition, 2015 onwards. This is into 2023, and that will be at the UN headquarters in New York, the first day of his state visit. And PM will lead the global community. Joining us live right now is Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar. Gurudev, Namaste. The eighth edition of International Yoga Day is right upon us. Why is yoga? so important for humanity? My first question. See, yoga is not just one fitness thing. It also uplifts human spirit. It helps one to uh, communicate with people better. Yoga also brings skills uh, that are deep hidden within you. Talents. Uh, starts manifesting from from within you. So, yoga, usually we understand it's only an asana. Yoga asana, we think it's yoga. No. Pranayama, meditation, and you know, all this together is called yoga. Yeah, otherwise, it will become just an exercise. Without pranayama, without meditation, yoga is never complete. Yeah. When you uh, when you take the take it from whichever angle you start, either you start from meditation and do asana, or start with asana and then pranayama and meditation, the benefit is multifold. Hmm. You know, more than hundred benefits you can count that comes to you from yoga and meditation. But Gurudev, you've been teaching the world uh, the art of living for decades. But in the last eight years since the world adopted 21st of June as International Yoga Day, we've seen conflict, we've seen pandemic. Have you seen yoga grow also? Anand, you see, uh, 42 years back when we started, it was not that popular. Ji. It was not a language of uh, narrative of mainstream. Okay. Language of mainstream. Uh, that's why those days I kept it as art of living, gave the name art of living. But that would create a curiosity in the minds of people. Oh, let me go and find out what it is. See. So then we present them a little bit of asanas and pranayama, meditation, and then wisdom. That this has transformed millions of lives around the world. Actually, uh, in 2009, Hmm. There was a very well-known yoga teacher from Portugal, who is a Portuguese person, Spanish, and he would not even speak English, but uh, he was sannyasi from that wow. kind of, from there, Portugal, and he came, he would speak Spanish and Portuguese. Portuguese, he could speak He would both, not yeah. speak English. Hmm. So he came to Bangalore and then, then uh, we had a yoga conference where B.K. Sainggar was part of it and then Baba Ramdev and there were all yoga experts were there that time we appealed to the United Nations that you have a World Diabetes Day, you have World Toilet Day you have World Idli Day Idli Day also, yeah true <laughs> <laughs> How come we have no World Yoga Day? So, but then when Prime Minister took it up and then he so many countries supported and we finally got that recognition. Today, nearly 2.5 billion people around wow. the world are practicing yoga. Yeah. Wow. That's wow. a big, big number. Yeah. So it's a mainstream narrative now, today, um, that nobody has any resistance for yoga. Mm. Just, just imagine those days. There was so much resistance that. The, People would say this is anti um, the religions of their country, uh, culture of those countries. It was a very tough journey at those moments, those days. I mean, many yoga teachers have faced that. They would always be tagged as uh, occult. It's a yeah. very easy yeah. uh, tag that you so put true. on anything that's good. But today, you practice yoga, you do yoga, uh, incorporate world in uh, uh, yeah. uh, bureaucratic setups, officials do this. Uh, so, it has found a great acceptance. Yes. And that's, that's good for our population. 
post covid there is aggression and depression in the minds of people mental health has become a biggest issue in the world very right yoga will help them to come out of uh, these extreme behave human behavior uh, imbalanced human behavior you very rightly put uh, gurudev but let me ask you this you talked about resistance now there is this whole aspect that yoga is being used for a hindutva push there is a theological angle that's being added to it but we see core islamic nations like the kingdom of saudi arabia we see christian nations you mentioned spain portugal so many others who have adapted and adopted yoga and there are so many people practicing it so is it yo is yoga science and spiritualism somewhere or does it have a certain angle of theology to it see you have to first define when you are saying science theology or spiritualism it's all the three together hmm theology means what that which has come from ancient times ji uh, yoga has come from ancient times yeah is it science yes it is a science yes very practical science yeah. and there have been evidence based research on the mm. number of research on yoga benefits of yoga and then mm, you said um, you know whether it is spiritualism yeah anything that uplifts spirit is spiritualism <laughs> and what is spirit spirit is made up of um, uh, consciousness is made up of love uh, compassion integrity creativity intuitive ability all these qualities prana yeah so all these are um, you know part of spirit when you say spiritualism a uh, spiritualism is that which helps you to connect with the universal yeah. uh, spirit and which connects you to people around the globe yeah the the, mm. the notion of vasudhaiva kutumbakam the whole world is, is one, one family, family has mm. come from our, our spiritual uh, wisdom only true very uh, very rightly said and yog means your king and you're saying it's uh, again what you're saying spiritualism is connecting yourself to humanity and also to the entire universe but bahut log kehte hain gurudev stress hai to yoga karo bude ho gaye to yoga karo younger generation ke liye kya zarurat hai yoga in fact har bacche ko aap dekhiye 3 saal umar tak har bachcha yoga karta hi hai sab yoga ka exercise karta hai unka breathing dekh ke unka mind by uh, default hota hai involuntary hota hai you know they live in the present moment ji yoga kabhi boodhe ho kar ke karna bhi mushkil hota hai shuru se uska abhyas kare especially in teenage hmm. if you practice yoga that's very very good for you because it helps you to um, you know channelize your energy in a more creative and uh, productive angle मैं बच्चों से यूथ की बात कर रहे हैं गुरुदेव यू नो इशू ऑफ मेंटल हेल्थ वेल बीइंग एडिक्शन आइडेंटिटी इश्यूज कंफ्यूजन यू थिंक योग विल हेल्प और कैन हेल्प डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली योगा इज हेल्पिंग योगा ब्रिंग्स दैट बैलेंस सी वी आर ऑल मेड अप ऑफ फादर एंड मदर दैट मींस देयर इज अ मेल एंड फीमेल एनर्जीज आर विद इन अस योगा ब्रिंग्स द बैलेंस in this and yoga helps one to get out of uh, addictions many different type of addictions hmm. so definitely we i have seen this result happening ji and uh, around the world not just uh, in any one country one race or religious hmm. across the globe i've seen uh, you know people are getting over the uh, stress and getting well and getting out of all these addictions as you mentioned and opioid problem the opioid yeah. also this has helped them tremendously we have done a research in cleveland uh, with a group of people and it has given tremendous uh, result from that and people are appreciating it and they're taking now everybody Gurudev thank you very very much I know you will also be there uh, at the UN on uh, International Yoga Day you've just spared time before you get on the flight thank you so much thank you so much for your time always a pleasure speaking with you uh, ladies and gentlemen